G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, we're back with another Rabbitohs video. Now, yes, you would have saw in the title that we're here to talk about the Charity Shield team lists. But I also have some good news that's come out earlier today about Latrell Mitchell. But we'll get to that at the end of the video. So if you haven't seen yet, Latrell is not included in the Charity Shield game. But I'll give you the good news at the end of this video. So let's go over the team list, guys, and let's see who's been named to play where. And, and, there's no Dragons team list yet, so we don't know how our opponent is lining up. But I'm assuming we're going to see Tom versus George this weekend, and I'm very hyped up about that. So let's jump straight in and let's check this out. I've got it up in front of me here so we can talk about how we think this is all going to uh, pan out. Obviously, it's probably going to be uh, 1 through to 24 as listed, but we all know that there's there can be changes made and that could happen. So, starting off at fullback, we've got Blake Taff. Very good selection, obviously. I think he will definitely play uh, fullback when Luttrell is suspended. And then on the wings, we've got Alex Johnston and Josh Mansour. Now, personally, I like this. I do like uh, Johnston and Mansour on the wings. I think that's that's a good selection. And I think that's what we're going to go for this year. I think this back line is pretty close to where we're going to line up. And obviously, this is a game we want to win. Charity Shield is much more than just a trial match. It is uh, definitely a game we want to win. So we're putting the best team we can on paper. Uh, next up in the centres, we've got Jackson Paulo and Campbell Graham. Again, two players that I think will play in these positions this year. You could make the argument that you move Jackson Paulo out to the wing and bring in Michael Cheekham or Isaiah Tass into the centres. But I think this is how the uh, starting five will line up for round one, just in my opinion. And then the halves, Cody Walker and Lachlan Elias, both are definitely going to be there for round one, in my opinion, with Blake Taff obviously getting the nod for the fullback position. I wouldn't hate Dean Hawkins getting the nod for the number seven jersey. He was phenomenal last week. His kicking game was very good. And I, I do think that he definitely deserves a chance. And he has been named in this lineup, but we'll get to him shortly. In the, front, in the front row, we've got Junior Totola and Hame Selly. Very good uh, front row. I like that. I, again, wouldn't hate it if this was the forward pack uh, going forward. Or at least, then, you know, obviously, uh, at lock, we've got Marky Nichols, which we'll get to in a sec. So Murray would be would uh, fill in there. But I've, I actually rate Hame Sally a lot, and I wouldn't mind to see Marky Nichols and Tom Burgess come off the bench for us. But uh, we keep going here in the second row. Big Keon Koloa Matangi. Love it. Love Keon. Definitely one of my favorite players. Absolutely adore the big fella. He's brilliant. Love him. And then we've got Jai Arrow. Again, another player that I think definitely deserves to be in the 13-man squad. Sorry, my camera's a bit... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Going in and out of focus. That's that's the one. It's a bit odd today. Sorry about that. Uh, and then at lock, obviously, as I spoke on before, Marky Nichols. And we miss Damian Cook at dummy half. So I think this 13-man uh, squad will probably be our 13-man squad going into 2022. Obviously, Cameron Murray will come back in that number 13 jersey, but uh, I like it. I think it's very good. So, yeah, good starting 13 and definitely a good uh, team to take on St. George. Coming off the bench, as I stated before, we have Dean Hawkins, Saliva Havili, who I definitely think deserves a spot somewhere in the team. He can play lock, he can play dummy half, he can play in the centres. He can nearly play the man anywhere. He is going to be a good utility to have on the bench. And I do think 
that we could work something out with him and Blake Taff off the bench for 2022. Yes, it would make us a little bit smaller, but at the same time, you've also got Mark Nichols and Tom Burgess coming off. That would be my bench, and I think it's a pretty good bench, to be honest. Uh, moving forward from there, obviously, then we've got Thomas Burgess, we've got Jacob Host, uh, Michael Cheekham has been listed in this lineup. Super excited to see what he can do for us. He's another player I would like to see get a crack in 2022. But it just goes to show you, we still have a lot of depth. Isaiah Tass is another player that's come in. So there, there's a lot of depth for this team, and I love it. However, Isaiah is not named in this uh, 24-man squad. Next up, we have my boy from the weekend. Oh, I've got a video coming out tomorrow that you guys need to check out. Yosaya, I'm going to pronounce this name wrong, Yosaya Karapani, very, very good first hit out in trials week one against the Cowboys. Personally, I thought he was our best player, absolutely killed it for us, and I hope he gets more footy action in 2022 for the uh, starting lineup, like, or not starting, but for the uh, Rabbitohs, that is, not for, like, the... uh, the New South Wales Cup team or anything. I'd love to see him get more minutes in the NRL because I think he definitely deserves that. He put his heart in his sleeve for us last weekend and I'd love to see him crack that 17 at some point in 2022. All right, moving forward, we've got Richie Kenner, who is, or Richie Kenner, who is on a train and trial contract with the Rabbitohs. I don't think we'll see too much footy out of him in 2022. Personally, I think there's a lot of players ahead of him, but he is good to have in the lineup for depth. Uh, David Moel, I think he's going to be a big part of the team this year. Huge inclusion for us. Like, I, I love Davey. Davey played a few games last year. I think he only played maybe two or three, but he was he was very good for us in the games he did play. One player that I do notice isn't listed in this as well is Shaq Mitchell. Really would have loved to see more footy from him, but I suppose he has played uh, two weekends in a row for the trials, so a rest is probably definitely deserved. Uh, Then we've got Romano Cook. Very good hit out last week as well. I was impressed with him. And another dummy half with the last name Cook. How ironic. Right, then we've got Terrell Kalo Kalo, another player I'm very excited to see uh, don that Rabbitohs jersey and have a good hit out for our first grade squad. He seems to be a pretty good player, so I'm keen to see what he can do for us. And finally, we've got Tane Milne, another player that could fit in that uh, wing spot if, you know, we weren't going to go the route of Josh Mansour. So very good 24-man squad, obviously coached by Jason Demetrio. Super excited for this one, guys. If you can get out to Mudgee, go and check it out. Go and support the boys. You know, that they, they need a good, loud supporter base this weekend, guys. Let's get another win over the Dragons in the Charity Shield. But yes, guys, that is going to wrap it up from me on the team list. And now let's talk some good news about Latrell Mitchell. So huge news for Latrell is the NRL are actually taking the Indigenous All-Stars game into consideration. They've they've said that that will be part of his suspension. So he will be available for round two, guys. Super hyped about that. Cannot wait. That is some good news to end this video on. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to bring you all more Rabbitohs content. I'll probably do a video after the Charity Shield going over how good of a game it was or how poor of a game it was or however that game ends. I'll probably do a little bit of an analysis video. Obviously, I didn't want to do one for last week because it was only a... You know, it wasn't really that important of a trial. Obviously, it's good for the youngsters to get a hit out. But uh, yes, I will probably put together a little bit of a bigger video for the Charity Shield. Anyway, guys, that will wrap it up from me. Thank you all so much for your support, guys. Don't forget to leave a big like 
on this video. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the Opinionated Aussies podcast. If I do remember, I'll drop the link in the bio below. Thank you all so much once again. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.